What's up, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Salut à tous et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. So today, I have my bestie Boo Hi. with me. Um, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Michael. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we got this. Cut. What's up, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Salut à tous et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. So today I have my bestie Michael here, and he acts really camera shy, even though he's really not. But today we are gonna jump in full force, and we are gonna talk about his weight loss journey. Yes, ma'am. So Michael started or restarted his weight loss journey the top of 2018. 17, 17 like yeah. november mm -hmm. december december yeah december it was your birthday yep so he started his weight loss journey in december of 2017 and then skyrocketed in around like around march and lost 70 pounds by then mm, 70 75 70 75 pounds and then went on a cleanse and lost 15 pounds in one week yeah. on a cleanse that was um, constructed by a certified personal trainer so everything mm -hmm. was healthy and everything was safe and lost 15 pounds fast forward into 2019 he is starting his journey again um in hopes to be not even in hopes because i believe hope is a I optimistic mean, word for doubt mm -hmm. like i hope i see no you either do or you don't mm -hmm. so he is restarting his fitness journey now you guys are probably like why are you over talking why are you doing all the talking he acts like he's nervous so i'm gonna just do as much as i can mm -hmm. until he just feels like he can jump in <laughs> so so i know you guys are probably wondering what he did on this cleanse to lose the 15 pounds in one week so I actually ended up doing the cleanse too, and I lost eight pounds in one week, or actually I lost eight pounds in six days. You lost eight pounds? Yes. On the cleanse, the only things that you guys could eat um, is oatmeal, beans. brown rice, beans, brown rice, beans, all vegetables, all fruit. Was it all fruit? Yes, all fruit. Dang. All fruit, yeah, all vegetables. All, fruit, all vegetables except for potatoes. Except for potatoes and except for avocado. You can't eat sweet potato either. Any for any kind of any potato. Any potato and then avocado. You can have avocado, no, no avocado. and you can't have nuts. So pretty no much fat, no fats. Oatmeal. You, you could have yogurt. Fat free. Non flavored yogurt. yogurt. No No salt, no oil. No he sauces. Said, no sauces. So you kinda just basically have to eat like a raw diet. Mm -hmm. He said it was hard. What how did you it was the hardest thing I ever did. I was near tears, but it was <laughs> it was worth it. It was. So what did you eat? What was your, what was, what were the things, what did you have for breakfast? <sighs> Vegetables. I just eat bro bag of broccoli. Raw or did you just cook raw. it? Nope. I don't like cooked vegetables. I just literally was just eating bags of vegetables, brown rice. Oh no, I ate yogurt. I would throw the fruit in the yogurt. Oh, I blended the strawberries and threw it in the yogurt. See? Yeah, there's ways. It's See, just... I think, okay, so for me, it was actually the greatest experience ever. So, the hardest part was the no salt and no oil because I like to saute my vegetables. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I just used apple cider vinegar or regular vinegar and then I used garlic and I used lemon and I made my own dressings. And then if I had... So for breakfast, what I would have is I would have oatmeal for breakfast with strawberries and or blueberries. Mm -hmm. And then for lunch, I would do like uh, black beans. Um, I would just steam my vegetables in water and or saute my vegetables, <laughs> pretend saute my vegetables in water. And then I would do like asparagus, onions, bell peppers. You definitely got more creative than I do. Yeah, and I'm then, sorry, there's something in my eye. And then after that, I would just pour the lemon vinegar dressing on top. And then for dinner, I would have like brown, kind of basically the same thing. I would just have like chipotle type of bowls, but I would just switch up the vegetable. And then I ate fruit all day. Like I had what I honestly would fill up on watermelon, to be honest. Um, no, I felt good doing it. It was worth it. But So this is his before cleanse picture that I'll insert now. <laughs> And this is his after cleanse picture that I will insert mm -hmm. now. That's crazy. I remember when you sent me this photo, I was like, bruh, this is not him. Like, I'm still shocked by it. It was crazy. Definitely. 
And what do you feel like was your biggest motivation into being consistent versus like you trying and then falling off and then trying and then falling off? Just my all around health. Like I couldn't breathe, I couldn't keep up, I couldn't, nothing. I just felt so like, what's the word I'm looking for? Held back in life, I guess. Now, do you feel like you hit your rock bottom or you feel like you were just like, oh, this is enough, let me change? No, it was rock bottom. Really? For sure. I don't even know that as like a friend. I feel like it was like my most unhealthiest time, like in the no, past. No, but did you really feel, did you feel bad though? Like, what do you mean? Like, did you, you didn't feel bad about yourself? Oh, no, no. I don't think I've ever felt bad about myself. Um, I see like, I don't know. Like it's never been about how I literally it's just about my health. It's never been like self-conscious. I've always felt like the okay. baddest <laughs> in the room all times. Like I don't it, like that was never a problem. Like even when I was 350, I felt bad. I just So you started at 350, which he never used to say. Like I don't even know that to be honest. And you no, you would be like, don't look at the wait, don't look at the scale. Don't that's look. A, uh. That's a big number. And people even now they're like Oh, that huge guy. He's not me, but they'll be like talking about someone. Oh, and they were 300 pounds. And I was just like. And another thing too is you have to factor in muscle versus fat. Mm. So. And these cakes are all muscle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your biggest motivation was your health first. Yeah. What was your second motivation? My trainer, for sure. It definitely paying that money. It sounds bad, but paying that money made me like. I'm not gonna waste it, you know, I gotta not waste my time or anyone's time and just... So, what did your trainer actually do for you? He, and it wasn't even just the workouts, it was more like all around, he was just very motivating, very encouraging, like sometimes I had other trainers where I felt like, like they kind of were judging in a way, or him, or I felt embarrassed to kind of do those things in front of him that he wanted me to do, or him, I just felt like, comfortable all the time. I felt like he never made me feel, feel like I wasn't doing anything right or I was a, not a bother but you know. Cardio I'm getting more mm, comfortable with it. I hated it. Now I honestly enjoy it sometimes more than even the workouts. I feel like more my endorphins are going. I don't know. I feel well, more honestly, pumped. Okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I swear when I'm on the Stairmaster, I have my greatest ideas. I'll be on the Stairmaster, and for me, this might be a little bit weird, but when I do my cardio, which is the Stairmaster, I listen to motivational like interviews or audiobooks. And when I'm hearing like, you can do this, you can do this, like I swear I have my best business ideas there. I just, it, it's a place for me to like focus. And I feel like when I'm sweating and I'm listening to that type of stuff, it's just giving me energy. Don't get me wrong, there's some times where I'll go from that to music and just feel like my butt is lifted, <laughs> my abs are tight, but I definitely feel like listening to that gives me some type of structure. A lot of you guys know that I work with Audible and I listen to Audible very frequently and I feel like it helps me with scheduling of absorbing, of not absorbing, um, it helps me with, yeah, it helps me schedule and internalize the knowledge I'm reading. So in the morning, I will go to the gym. First thing is at least 10 minutes to 20 minutes of cardio. I would do a chapter of a book on Audible, which is cool because you can do, you can leave the app and then go to exactly where you left off or jump through different chapters. There's different books that you can listen to. I'm a sucker for business books. It's just something that gets, gets me going. So I would just listen to that in the morning and a mix of exercising and listening to your goals. Knowledge. Yeah, it just like did something for me personally. I just listened to Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, no, but that's the cool thing too because yeah. like if you do want to listen to Twilight, you can yeah. do that on Audible too. <laughs> Audible has a whole bunch of different books. Um, whether that be like fitness journey type of books, self-help books, something like Twilight. Um, <laughs> they have books for everything. So if you guys have not tried Audible, you guys can try Audible and get your first audiobook within the first 30 days for free when you go to www.audible.com slash fineguru 
or you can text find guru to 500 500 audible also has something called audible originals which are exclusive audio titles from storytellers from worlds as diverse as theater literature journalism and more i didn't feel necessarily like i was losing weight and it sounds like i was literally at your mom's house and i got on the scale i didn't i don't know why i never got on the scale i got on your mom's scale and i was like i was 15 pounds lighter and i was like no way like i kept weighing myself weighing myself and it was like no there's no way i'm 15 pounds lighter and i went home used our scale i was like oh my god like wow i'm like it didn't and then when i finally realized like after that it just seemed like it was just falling off then like once i realized like wow i did 15 pounds like i can do way more and it just kept going and going and going i kept remember sending me pictures of me yes in the he's... scale and sending them to your mom i was like wow and then i was under 300 pounds i was like Holy crap, like, mm -hmm. it's possible. You invested in yourself. Exactly. You made an investment in yourself. And do you feel like that investment helped you in other areas of your life? Yeah, for sure. Like, even now, like, since I haven't been seeing my trainer as much, it's just kind of like, okay, now I have to force myself to go to the gym. And I was kind of in a, a funk, I guess you could say, like, losing that motivation, not working out as much, and then now that I'm like, okay, I, I can't do the trainer anymore, or not that I can't do it, but I need to do it on my own, sort of, so it's just, the more I'm doing it now, I'm like, wow, I enjoy going to the gym, I enjoy, and all around, like, I feel like I get up, I'm more on a schedule, now I kinda wanna go and, you know, do this YouTube channel, or, you know, I feel more productive all the way around, not even just with my workouts, I feel like, all around happier, honestly. I feel like, I don't know. I mean, everyone has different ways of motivation, but me listening to positive things helps me. As you guys know on my channel, I like listening to things in the morning. I like taking in and learning knowledge every single day. And I feel like when I do that mixed in with a workout, it just puts me. I think you got that for me. Yeah, pretty much. He sends me motivational things too. Mm -hmm. Maya. Yeah. Maya. Yes, no, because it's cool. I mean, it's always nice when you have friends who support you, but it's always nicer when you wake up in the morning and you're able to get little quotes from your friends or just audio clips or we send YouTube videos sometimes um, to each other when mm -hmm. we don't even really ask for it. But that positivity and constant support. search, what was that? Yeah, the, the constant support and the constant positivity and just hunger for knowledge is just something that we've always kind of done together. And yeah. You're the most motivating person I know. No, literally, when I left your house there, I just felt like I can do this. I can, you know, get this energy to just work out in general. And then more came. I was like, well, now I want to do this. Now I want to. Okay, so. They don't know what you're talking about. So do you want to share or do you feel like that's kind of private? What do you mean? Just share what you want to say. Like what, what motivate, what did I do to motivate you? <sighs> we had a angel card reading. We did angel cards. Yes. And a little like meditation kind oh. of breathing. She laid me on the floor and surrounded me in sage and candles. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing. We it actually, really, like I feel so like, it sounds weird. I feel so like, like I can just feel the energy, like. And it's true. I mean, there was a time three or four years ago where I'm like, that's corny. That's mm -hmm. some hippie stuff. But even when I, you do a Kira, yeah, she's I, so skeptical about it. That something for me that I take very seriously is the mental health of my well-being first, and the mental health of others around me, well-being. Because there was a time even for me where. I was externally happy, but would go to bed with all these type of thoughts. And I was very prideful in the way where I had to figure it out on myself by myself because I didn't really know what was going on first off. And then it's like, how do you explain to somebody that you're not happy and you don't know why? So I did a lot of deep searching and read a lot of books and my happy place was meditation, sage, um, a lot of spiritual things, um, like I, I keep stressing, the books that I've read have taught me so much about the importance of that quiet time, meditation, spiritual health, and when I see my friends 
physically mentally going through something where it's like I know that on the outside they're good but I can tell that they're not really good it's just it's a simple thing where you just take the time and say I see you I feel you I I just want you to be okay and um I'm not even going through some stuff and <laughs> and that's just what you know you have to do for your friends sometimes and his his route was okay let me get back in the gym and for me my route sometimes or all, most of the time is let me get back in the gym let me just know that I can do this we all need that push and that reminder that we can do it and that most of the obstacles or all the obstacles honestly are the obstacles that we put in our head mm -hmm. or the obstacles that we see other people go through so we think okay they can't do it so I'm gonna just stay right here in the safe zone um, yeah so do you have any last bits no honestly like genuinely I felt like this is I feel like every time I leave your house I feel so like centered almost motivated and it sounds corny I'm genu but I genuinely mean it like I felt so like not thankful but thankful you know for that moment and that energy and you just put all that positivity on me and I can feel it I feel your I love I, no, know I truly that. I felt I swear to you I felt like the next one or two even on my way home I was like I'm gonna send her a text and then I got sidetracked, but I was like, I genuinely felt like... I need that text, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need those texts, okay? No, that moment I was like, it meant more to me than you probably will ever realize. Oh. And like I said, I just been in this weird funk with my life, and... I was like, that's just what I needed to hear and do, and... She gave it to me. Mm. My little angel. Thank you. I didn't know, th I didn't... Th I'm hearing this as you're hearing this, so... That's nice to hear. I'm thankful that I can do that for you because I really just care. But, um, I feel emotional. <laughs> <laughs> but, to close out this video, um, I want to remind you guys again, if you guys knew, do need a consistent reminder or you guys need to be put in a mental place where you can be consistent with knowledge and information motivation you guys can go to www.audible.com slash find guru or you can text find guru to 500 500 thank you guys so much and don't forget to head over to his channel so you guys can start to see his fitness journey um thank you guys so much for watching my video and i will see you in the next upload Bisous. Bisous.